Guys, and very welcome to this little video update on my uh, solar storage and solar power system here. So today I will give you the number for the whole 2023 and then tell you how much money I saved on that and also how much money I earned and also how much power I produced or energy I produced there. But first I will go up on my mountain and I will actually clean my panels because, uh, well, it's really cold and it seems to be that way for a pretty long time. So I know a lot of you guys don't recommend anybody to clean their panels. Uh, maybe I don't do that either, but uh, for me, I think that I do it anyway. So here we go, guys. See you on top of the mountain. So I'm soon there. It's pretty steep up here and uh, I have to climb and hold in this rope here. So it's pretty hard when you are holding stuff in your hands. But here we go. So here we are, and as you can see, they are completely covered with snow. So I will try to clean them, but if there is too much ice under the snow there, I will just leave it as it is. Let's see about that. So I will just see how bad it is. Well, it's not that much ice, so I am going to try. It will probably make some heat by its own now and uh, then the rest of it will melt away. All right, let's take a look at my consumption during this 2023. And as you can see, I have consumed 9,402 kilowatt hours. And here you have the graph during the years. You can see it for each and every month here. So I was pretty much just heating my house there with wood during this period. And then in April, you can see that the sun was giving me a lot of energy. So I pretty much used everything myself there and just imported when the energy was really, really cheap. And uh, now the energy prices have been pretty cheap during this uh, autumn and winter, so I have consumed pretty much of it actually. So I am only using power during the night time between uh, 22 o'clock in the evening and uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm charging my battery during that, during that time and also heating my water. So let's take a look at uh, production then. So you can see that I pretty much produced exactly the same amount that I consumed there. So let's just compare the number here. So 9,402 kilowatt hours is what I consumed and 9,409 kilowatt hours is what I produced. And that's really great because we have this tax relief in Sweden. So we will have an extra 60 euro for each and every kilowatt hour that we produce. But we will not have that 60 euro for those kilowatt hours 
we overproduce. So you will only have that 60 euro for those kilowatt hours that you consume. So for example, if you consume like me 9,402 kilowatt hours and produce 9,409 kilowatt hours, that means that I am actually not going to have that 60 euro for those, what is it now? Seven kilowatt hours that I have overproduced here, right? So anyway, I am pretty much spot on and I am very satisfied with that. So here you have the graphs for this 2023 and this is my production. And you can see that the, that the best month here was May. And uh, July is of course okay, but then the weather just was pretty much grey the whole summer. So uh, pretty much the whole, uh, and maybe September was pretty good, but then uh, even the late autumn and the uh, winter has been really wet but now it's extremely cold instead so yeah so anyway here you can see all the numbers for this 2023 so here is what i have produced the whole 2023 and here you will have the total cost that they will pay me for my energy that i fed into the grid there and if we take a look at that number, you can see that uh, I actually was able to sell those kilowatt hours to a price at uh, 750 euro. So that's pretty good, not as good as the last year, but uh, the energy prices was uh, very, very high that year. So I am pretty satisfied with that. And then you also have to add 60 euro for that tax relief that I was talking about. And then we also have this grid support and my grid support is 0.0925 euro per kilowatt hour. So it's not much at all, but uh, it is there. So in total that will then give me 13,578 crowns. So... Um, that's just great. And then I also consumed 9,402 kilowatt hours to a price at 5,339 Swedish crowns. And uh, then I also have to pay tax and uh, transfer fees on those kilowatt hours. And uh, that cost will be on those kilowatt hours 5,735 Swedish crowns. So in total, the cost will be 11,000. 75 crowns for this 2023 that I need to pay. And then we also have to take a look at one other thing that I never have calculated with earlier. And that's the self-consumption that I have used directly from my solar panels. And I don't really know why, but some way Zulax don't support this. So I have to do this by myself. So I have now calculate everything from my home assistant system here. So I have my uh, home and consumption here. And then I have all the kilowatt hours that I have produced. And then how much of them I throwed out on the grid and so on. So I have done this for each and every month and it was taking me a lot of time, but now it's done and I really hope that the numbers are correct. And the number that I came up with was 4,405 kilowatt hours that I have used directly from the sun from my system. And then I took the price for those kilowatt hours that I imported and added to those kilowatt hours. And then I also added the energy tax and the transfer fee that I normally have to pay if I now had to import those 4,405 kilowatt hours. And that ended up with 5,995 Swedish crowns that I saved just to consume the energy directly from my panels. So that's a pretty good number and if we now add those numbers together to those numbers that I now will get paid from my electric company, that number will be 19,573 Swedish crowns this 2023. And I am very pleased with that number, so let's see what the next year will bring. And, uh, for you who wonder what I have earned on this frequency balancing, 
Well, I don't know that yet. I have had a lot of troubles there. So most of the time I had actually not been with this uh, frequency balancing at all. So as soon as I know anything about that, I will of course give you an update on that because that's very interesting. And we can now see that more and more people are uh, connecting their batteries to the grid there. And I think that the price for those kilowatts are getting lower and lower. And I am not uh, really sure how much or how good this will be in the end there. Uh, it's of course a good deal, but uh, for me, I honestly have to say that I like it this way. Even if I can earn more money to give my battery away to the Swedish uh, grid company, well, for me, this is more fun and uh, that is also worth some money I guess. The important thing here is to do whatever you like to do with your system. But anyway, now you know the numbers that I have produced together with my homemade battery and my system here. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, give me a like, please leave a comment, ask something if there is something that you wonder. Do everything you can to support my channel here. <laughs> Thank you so much guys. Take care and goodbye.